We're here once again at the SM Mega Trade Hall to check out what the Association of Firearms and Ammunition Dealers has on display. Yes, the 28th Defense and Sporting Arms Show. Join me on a tour around the exhibit as we find out what's the coolest, latest, newest, and baddest offer on display. My name is Myung the Great. They call me Myung the Great. My friends call me Myung the Great. Um, I am working at the uh, Tactical Precision Trading and Alpha Sigma Defense. I am currently the um, uh, Senior Supervisor for Firearms dito sa company namin. So we are dealing with the uh, Chris Vectors and Kalashnikovs. So, ang Chris Vector, we have four uh, kinds po ng Chris Vector. We have the uh, KP, or I mean the uh, SDP. And then this one, the SDPE or Enhance. We also have the SBR. And we also have the uh, CRB model. So, ito pong nasa harapan po natin. This is the latest model of the Chris Vector, which is uh, SDPE. So, ito po, it is equipped with the MK5 uh, Mark po. So, ito po yung dinagdag sa SDP. Okay? So, this one is available in 9mm and 45. We have four variants of colors. We have black, ito black, brown, or the green, and then yung combat gray po. Okay, lahat po yan available. Kung mapapansin po ninyo, medyo makapal yung katawan ng Chris Vector. It is because the mechanism of this is yung spring niya is going down. May pwersa po dito. So pag pumuputok po ito, yung firepower po ng Chris Vector, hinihila ng mga spring. So unlike doon sa iba, ang epekto po nun, diretso lang. So ang recoil, pag pumuputok, tumataas. While ito, Pag pumutok po ito, it's going down. Kaya ang recoil po niyan is wala talaga mararamdaman. So yung po ang pinagmamalaki ng Chris Vector, that is called V-Technology. So yung ating Kalashnikov, we have the KP9 and KR9. So they are also from USA. Okay? Yung Kalashnikov po natin is 9mm civilian version. Yung high-powered version, which is the uh, Kalashnikov Russian made. This is the US made for the civilian version. Yung katawan po ng Kalashnikov is full metal. Karamihan po ng um, PCC kung tawagin is like polymer na or ibig sabihin yung plastic. So kapag pumuputok in time, nagkakaroon ng crack, nagkakaroon ng um, yung problema. Pero pag dito sa Kalashnikov, hindi po magkakaroon ng problema kasi still, full step bak bakal pa rin siya. So kung ano yung mechanism ng high-powered, the same mechanism with the civilian version. It is ready for PTC. Lahat po na nakikita po natin, it is ready for permit to carry. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Dino Rodriguez of uh, Defensive Armament Resource Corporation or DARK. DARK is a company that started in 2010 and we're we're a company that imports our firearms mostly from the U.S. and um, Turkey. So today I'm going to show you the, the Turkish shotguns that we have, which are very unique uh, compared to the, the rest that you find here in the market. So this is our MHX model, the base model. It's a 12-gauge um, pump-action shotgun. Carries uh, four shells and has a bird head stock. So it's a bird head grip for easy, easy manipulation and compact uh, design for use, uh, for perfect for home defense. Now, if you want to step up a bit and attach some uh, accessories on your shotgun, we have the MHX with the rail. So the rail model has a full top rail for your accessories, optics or, or uh, lasers. It has a quad rail which you can attach here, here and here for your other accessories. Now, 
If you want to go the ultimate route for these shotguns, then you can get the MHX Tactical. The Tactical has the, the rails as well and a full stock, an M4 style stock that you can adjust. And if, if you want to have the compact feel of the, the base um, MHX, you can pull the stock. So, user preference. Then here, we have the VM15 model, which is a AR-type shotgun, 12-gauge also. Magazine-fed, can accept 5 or 10 rounds. Also comes with a 5 and 10 round magazine. Also an adjustable stock with cheek risers. A full rail. A quad rail also and comes with flip-up sights. And finally, we have the big boy. This is the MH-12 with a capacity of 14 plus 2 rounds. So that's a, a good 16 rounds of 12 gauge. It has two magazine tubes, two barrels. Comes with the, the grip, the foregrip. Comes with these uh, flip-up sights as well and the uh, adjustable stock. Now, you're, I bet you're curious, how do you shoot this? So it's a pump action shotgun. You pump once. Uh, press the trigger once. The, the right barrel shoots. Press the trigger again. The left barrel shoots. Then pump. The shells will eject on both sides, uh, right side and the left side at the same time. So after you pump, the, the unit will feed two shells back and you're ready to go. So now we're, we have the 9mm uh, AR type uh, rifle, PCC, pistol caliber carbine from the US. Uh, just right carbines. It's a, it's a 9mm that uses Glock magazine. So if you have a Glock, Glock 19, Glock 26, Glock 17, all those magazines will work with this. So right now there's a resurgence of uh, 9mm PCCs because of the, there was, there's a current limitation for ownership of rifles for high powered uh, caliber, so 5.56, 7.62. These are currently restricted uh, from being owned by civilians. So now, people are starting to gravitate towards the pistol caliber carbine. So that's why we're seeing a lot of 9mm and uh, even 45 caliber uh, rifles. So it comes with in, in three variants. The M-Lock model, which has the full rail, comes fully compatible with standard AR parts. Uh, grips, triggers, stocks, buffer tube, compatible with AR, AR style. This is the takedown model, which you can easily store in your, your backpack by, just by unscrewing the barrel shroud. and then you pull out the, the barrel. These uh, PCCs are fully ambidextrous. You can change the charging handle left or right. The ejection port can also be shifted left or right. Dark can be found on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, just just uh, search for defensive armaments. So um, hope you can Drop by our page and maybe like and uh, follow us. Ako po si Paolo Marcelino, head ng Firearms Process Engineer ng Arms Corps Global Defense. Alam po natin ang Arms Corps ay kilala bilang manufacturer ng 1911 for 70 years. At ngayon po ay ang kauna-unahang striker-fired pistol ng Arms Corps, ang STK-100. 
Ang SDK100 po ay made from aluminum uh, frame, not compared to some other Striker 5 pistol that composed of polymer. Advantage of it is the, the, the reflex of the plastic against the, the aluminum. So, less recoil are ang ating mararamdaman pag hawak po natin yung aluminum frame. Siya po ay nagkaroon ng mga lightning cast para po magumaang yung ating slide pagdating sa ating recoil. Okay. Ito po ay nakaredy na sa optic side. Pag tinanggal nyo po yung ating rear side, pwede nyo po siyang palitan ng red dot side. Katulad ng Lupold, uh, Seymour, at Triton. And also, the the of the line, Venom Vortex. Ngayon, ang STK po ay maraming variants ng kulay na nakikita nyo po ngayon. Kung papapansin nyo, ang grip po niya ay pinare sa 1911, 17 degree. Para po pag ginawa ka nyo, kung ano po ang grip nyo, kung ano po yung nakasanayan natin na uh, 1911 uh, hand, handheld, yun din po ang ating mararamdaman dito sa SDK compared to some plastic na ibang angle. Ang magazine na po ang, ang, ang compatible po dito ay uh, lahat po ng simula Gen 1 hanggang Gen 4 na magazine ng uh, kahit ano pong striker fired pistol na especially Glock. Marami pong safety features ang ating barel. May apat na safety features po siya. Ang safety trigger, ang slide stop, ang uh, ammunition indicator, tsaka po yung trigger safety niya po sa loob. Pwede po natin ikumpara yung ating STK-100 kung paano po kinakalas yung ibang Stryker 5 pistol. It composed of four, four uh, active um, parts. Okay. I will compose one slide lock frame the recoil spring and the barrel. And of course, just slide. If you intend to Good afternoon, I'm Billy Pasqua from Tactics SOG Industries. Um, Tactics SOG Industries was um, started in 2003 and we were incorporated in 2006. And we take pride for being the only Southeast Asian company who is in the US NIJ list. So we're basically doing body armor. So our body armor is 40% lighter than your traditional Aramid um, body armor. So the advantage of this armor is basically it's lighter, it can get wet, and of course it gives comfort and protection to, to all. And yung pagiging customized niya gives the advantage of having it really concealable, not that typical concealable armor na uumbok. So, sinusukatan namin kada kliyente and nakikita natin na lapat na lapat and you can you can ano, actually notice it not unless sisilipin mo or rahawakan mo. No? So, we have different models and we also use different kinds of uh, grades of materials depending on the application because for body armor while this can stop bullets, it cannot stop knives and spikes. So, tatagos dito yung um, kuchilyo at saka mga ice pick. But we have a solution for that. Ito yung anti-stab namin and anti-spike. So, you have all the options on how to, on how your armor would be. And this is, this was tested in, I think, 2017. By, by Jetro, no? si Jetro mismo yung pumutok dito. So it was shot 21 times, na dikit-dikit, and look at the back. So we also, we do regular tests. While we are already an IJ listed, we do regular tests because um, a new ammunition comes out every now and then. So like the 357, the 357 that we have here, actually has a higher velocity than than the NIJ test ammo. So, mas malakas siya, but still, we created solution for that. So, this is the most uh, slick na design that we have. 
uh, for only 30,400. While the others are custom made, we can have it we can have it uh, custom made according to your preferred design and of course the preferred finish. We can even have it in your uh, yung Americana, the coat and tie. So, para you can just wear it. So, let's go here. We have this for tactical application naman, we have this kind of bag, a convertible bag. So, from from a typical bag, from a laptop looking bag, you can convert it into a vest in in just few seconds. And now, you have all your Yung gamit mo dito, yung pistol, plus, of course, the magazine, and yung armor mo mismo. So, in few seconds, okay ka na kaagad. This is another uh, product that we have. We call this Blast Container. Application of this is dapat nasa gilid to normally ng mga x-ray machines para kung may makita during the x-ray na let's say suspected na IED dito mo talaga ilalagay this is where you place it para at least safe na safe na kasi yung common question is okay na x-ray mo siya nakita mo meron suspected IED next is saan mo ilalagay bubuhatin mo pa palabas o dap kaya dapat nakatabi na to usually sa x-ray. So, ideal application is for the hotels and the common area, the airports na kung saan may x-ray, no? And then, these are all the other tactical applications, the tactical vest, at saka yung helmet, and this one. Ito, this ballistic curtain, this is actually tested. Andito, yung may mga tama So we have a cur we have the curtain. Ang purpose niya para pwede siyang mailipat-lipat sa iba-ibang sasakyan. So you have protection even by changing vehicle. It's a um, stopgap uh, solution for those who cannot afford or hindi niya kayang magpa-armor ka agad ng sasakyan. Tapos dito naman sa yung threat is uh, pistol lang. They can have this. We can have it in your SUV, sedan, or pickup, or whatever. And this is the modular armor seat kit for rifle protection naman. So, while you're seated, you are protected. You can remove, rec remove the curtain if you have this. Pero of course, limited lang rin yung area. So, this is not a replacement for the armored vehicle, but a stopgap measure for uh, at least for an armor protection to your vehicle no so this is the plate that we have it floats in water so this plate is a level 3 plate wherein it can stop a 762 by 51 m80 round and then 556 by 45 m193 round ballistic protection is ammunition specific so that's why we don't call it bulletproof no there's no such thing as bulletproof because these protections are ammunition specific uh, na, na protection no? so but we have this this is the latest that we have it can stop an m855a1 ammunition this is the m855a1 ammunition this is different from your ss109 or the m855 this is m855a1 and still light no? so this is a philippine made PNP, PNP seal inspired ballistic shield at 10 kilograms. At 10 kilograms, this, this can stop a 5.56 by 45, a 7.62 by 51 na M80, and a 7.62 by 39 na AK 47 mild steel core and still lightweight. And these are all the other armor materials that we use for. Aircraft armoring, so it's aircraft and um, naval assets, no? and we also do armoring of um, hotels and 
houses. So this is for the ballistic door. We have, we can have your ballistic glass, and we, we typically can create a safe room for you. So safe room, not just for ballistic protection, but a complete setup for a safe room. So from glass to wall, from your ventilation, and all the other necessary requirement that a client would want for a safe house. Okay, so again, I'm Billy Pasqua of Tactics SOG, and we take pride for being an NIG listed company, the only one in Southeast Asia to date. Thank you and good afternoon. By the way, ako nga pala po si Mike. Uh, welcome po dito sa Trust Trade. So, ano nga ba si Trust Trade? O sino nga ba si Trust Trade? Si Trust Trade, kami po yung uh, mga supplier ng mga Glock pistols, Taurus pistols. Sinusupplier rin po namin yung AFP, APNP. Yung mga, le mga armed forces of the Philippines po natin. Kami rin po yung mga nagsusupply nun. Yun. Uh, ngayon, gusto po namin dito sa DISAS, gusto po namin i-highlight yung dalawang new SKU po namin. Which is... Uh, the TX-22 model Actually, may mga model series din siya Ito, TX-22 competition So, 22LR siya Yun, since sa, sa, ano niya, sa name niya uh, Competition So, uh, TX-22 competition Ginagamit siya sa mga competition ang, Ngayon, ano nga ba yung kinaiba na ito sa mga, sa mga may mga red dot? So, ang kinaiba na ito sa may mga red dot Ito, hindi siya magalaw So pagka bumabaril ka kasi, di ba, pagka nag-shooting ka, usually yung red dot nakakabit dito sa slide. So pag bumabaril ka, dito po, gumagalaw po yung pati yung red dot. Ngayon, well-engineered po itong TX-22. Ang kinaganda po dito sa TX-22, yung red dot niya, nakascrew na po siya sa barrel. So pag bumaril ka, hindi po nagalaw yung red dot. So more on accuracy point po tayo dyan. Ngayon, Ilang rounds po siya? 16 rounds po si TX-22. Ang kinaganda rin po sa kanya, threaded barrel na rin din, uh, threaded barrel na rin din po siya. Tapos, meron din po siyang uh, isang variant, which is the TX-22 uh, standard series naman po ito. Bale ito, threaded barrel na rin po siya. Tapos, 16 rounds. Tapos meron na rin po siyang dalawang variant na color which is tan black and also sa black din po. Isa rin po sa hina-highlight namin dito na product is yung GX4. Well, ano nga ba si GX4? 9mm po siya. Kasunod siya ng model na G ng G3C. So si, GX si GX4, uh, gawa rin po siya sa, ano, ha, sa Georgia, USA. Meron po siyang, uh, eto, katulad na ito, tungsten, uh, premium finish po yung, ano niya, yung paint niya. So, premium looking na po siya. So, pagdating dito po sa polymer niya, compare kay Kala G3, uh, G3C, mas ano po, high-end po yung polymer na ginamit po dito. So, sa magazine naman po, meron po itong uh, 11 rounds sa magazine. Tapos meron din po siyang ibang variant na color. May black. And also meron din siyang tan. Nandun dun nga lang sa kabilang istante. May tan din po siya. So kung naghahanap po kayo ng pang -conceal, na medyo premium looking po yung dating, ay suggest yung GX4. That's it for us here at the 28 Defense and Sporting Arms Show at the SM Mega Trade Hall. Let us know what you think was the coolest, newest, and baddest stuff that you've seen on this video. Don't forget to follow and subscribe our social media pages and like our Instagram page.